If you know us a little bit, we love to do printable worksheets in homeschooling. But it is also very true that in every few weeks or days, we love to do some DIY activities and DIY worksheets. And this is what exactly I'm going to be sharing in this video. Because we recently we have done a few DIY worksheets and they were bomb. So you'll get some ideas related to math, English and also some brain teasing. And I'm sure you will absolutely love those. If you will uh, put a little bit effort, whatever I'm sharing over here, you can make more out of it by using some, you know, creativity inside it. But if you want more ideas of DIY worksheets and activities, be sure to check out the link in the description box of the playlist that I have made because in past I have shared a tons of videos on those. Again, if you have any questions, any doubt related to parenting or homeschooling, write me in the comment section, but also check out the homeschooling playlist because there are so many videos which are done on the request basis, like how to teach this or that, or like how to deal with this or that. And I'm sure you will get a tons of help over there as well. But now without further ado, let's get started with today's video. The very first one is the crossword. Um, actually, uh, one of you had commented me uh, or DM'd me. I don't clearly remember like how to teach crosswords to kids. And this is the easiest way. So all you have to do is write across and down and then draw a few pictures that you want. You will have to put a little bit of effort in finding out like how they are going to write and everything. So this is one of the example and just uh, so that you, you or your child does not get confused if you have created like uh, in advance, be sure to write down what it is so that your kids can either read or get, um, you know, idea from here. And if like, because my drawing is really, really bad. So it's good to have things uh, written handy at the end. And uh, yeah, this is how they can do. And don't mind Nervi's writing but she, because she wanted to write it with the pen. The next uh, idea is of ice cream tent frames. So what I have done over here, I have made a frame of tents so that uh, like Nirvi can color, um, you know, um, whatever number is written on the ice creams uh, in these boxes. You can draw cars over here. You can draw um, any like uh, any objects and you can write numbers. So you can make more of these. Okay, so the next idea is of um, like math only, uh, the addition one, but in a fun way instead of giving, uh, you know, simply numbers and boxes. What I have done is uh, like drawn few shapes and gave them uh, some value. And then I have randomly, you know, uh, like selected two patterns um, and um, asked her to join. So for example, I had only given her heart and uh, like box. Um, so Nirvi had to write like uh, heart is equals to two, two. Uh, box is equals to 4 4 and now then she uh, had to uh, you know plus and I have taught her to you know um, plus with the old school method like uh, with the lines like if it is number two she had to draw number uh, like two lines first then number four then she'll have to draw four lines and then count all together so four plus two six this is how they can do you can use this kind of pattern worksheet for subtraction as well be sure to use the uh, you know just a higher value in the first and also you can use any other manipulatives if your child is doing um, addition with different kind of manipulative instead of lines the next worksheet is of english so i wanted to teach nervy concept of one and many so what i have done i have written i've uh, drawn few objects which are one and then in many and we did this oral learning two times like if there is one ball it is called ball if there are more than one they are called as balls so one and many one ball many balls one bat many bats now uh, remember over here we are teaching her the concept of only s so now when she is done with that um i gave her one worksheet to do which is a uh, very simple of doing match the followings and uh, by seeing how many are there if there is one or many and please do not laugh on my um trying because it's really really bad and by the way this is headphone can you even imagine <laughs> and these are the straws and this is a spider <laughs> how funny these are paws by the way okay you can laugh as much as you want but let's move towards the next one okay so the next one is related to writing body parts name obviously i want her to write uh, as many letters and uh, numbers as she can in a day because that way she can practice writing letters and numbers by her own but 
also at the same time i want to make sure that her fingers doesn't get tired and she is not bored of writing so i can instead of giving her just to write any random letter or number i give her to write you know uh, just fill up the blanks and make a word so it can be body parts days weeks whatever weeks name and all those so over here i knew what i have uh, you know given her so instead of writing them over here or drawing picture i dictated her so if this is hand i dictator i dictated her like this is h and h and hand so she had to find out according to the phonics like what letter will come and she had to fill the other one is related to vowel so recently we have uh, taught nervi that there are five vowels so i wanted to test her like if she can find out the words which starts with um you know the vowels or not so this is what she did and she did an amazing job but anyways we also have these kind of printable worksheets in the english workbook um which like english workbook comes with the writing practice sheets and also logical worksheets for preschooler pre kindergarten and kindergarten kids so um this was the idea derived from there the other day i had only given her to do um you know subtraction and addition she can do addition and subtraction of one digit number and uh, we have taught her uh, again uh, with the lines only so these are very easy method the next one is related to math which is complete the number line and um it's a really great practice to write numbers this way because they get bored if they write in sequence so uh, what i had done i had written random numbers and i gave her three spaces to fill like what number comes after it you can do it for the same like uh, what comes before it but for that your child will need to use the number chart uh, the wall chart so that they can see and right because it can be a little tough for very young kids to you know remember because i'm not a fond of teaching kids backward countings instead teaching them through the chart or instead teaching them through a uh, logical concept like what comes before four is three and uh, eight will remain same so this is a concept which i'll be teaching to nirvi and when i will be successful in that i'll share the video like how to teach backward counting and before number without any uh, chart or manipulative because because that's very important instead of teaching backward counting okay so the next one is match the rhyming words so uh, we have already taught nervi the rhyming words if you want to know how i'll link the video down below for you and uh, we have a resource which is uh, on super cheap rate um, but it is a very effective way to teach rhyming activity like rhyming words um they learn through play and they learn through activities more instead of worksheets this is the last step that you have to test out like Like whether they have got it or not, but to teach, uh, we have activities and people loved it. Uh, like there are so many people who got it and they loved it. So I'll make sure to link it down below for you guys. Be sure to check it out. And there's one more rhyming activity we did. So Nirvi had to write down the you know uh, just the. Uh, she had to find out what can be the rhyming word of uh, the particular word given over here and she had to write the initial letters um for those so it was so much fun for her and i gave her few more of these and she loved it so much just for fun uh, the other day we also had collected few uh, leaves from our garden and uh, we found out the names from google like what leaves are called what because we actually did not know uh, and we pasted it on we pasted on the uh, like her notebook and it was such fun activity to do be sure to give it a try you can do the same one with the flowers or different kind of uh, you know dried leaves and all those kids do enjoy these kind of activities a lot So I really hope that you enjoyed. Again, playlist uh, links are down below of the DIY worksheets and also of the home schooling. But I quickly want to mention that my new website is up on uh, like up like yeah, it is live. So be sure to check it out because over there I have a web shop as well with the blogging site so that you can get a lot of uh, you know help from there. You can uh, get the worksheets uh, like immediately. You can just pay for it and download. as soon as you are done so it is going to be really helpful you can uh, if you live abroad you can click on uh, shop through like paypal shop and also i have blog posts which is uh, which are going to be really helpful if you want uh, good books for your kids or home schooling item for your kids and also this is a new site so i really need your help be sure to check out and find some mistakes find some errors and let me know so that i can correct those because it is built by me and i'm sure there can be a lot of mistakes because 
um when you create something uh, by your own you don't see a lot of mistakes so it will be really awesome if you can do that for me and if you have multiple questions or any questions which you cannot ask over here related to parenting homeschooling personal life whatever dm me on instagram because i would love to help you out personally over there but if you have anything freely ask me over here in the comment section again i reply to um like 99% of my comment sections or like on all uh, like all the time and also be sure to give this video a thumbs up soon we are gonna go on our family vacation which is i'm really excited about because we need a break we need a we need a break from a lot of things so uh stay tuned for that be sure to subscribe hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out the updates and the fun vlogs and all all of those stuff thank you so much for listening till the end and i will see you guys in my next one bye